When people are learning to code, I find that many people make the mistake of making the process of learning it a lot more complex and complicated than it needs to be. And look, software development and learning to code is not easy. It's the type of skill that takes quite a long time to become good at and become a master at especially. So if you're gonna get good at this, if you're gonna get good enough to land your first job, if you're gonna get good enough to be at that mastery level, you have to take the learning process and simplify it as much as you possibly can so that there's not so much you have to focus on and you're not making it too complicated on yourself. So in this video, what I wanted to share with you are the ways that I've made it simple for myself. And I've come up with three simple rules that have helped myself and a lot of the people who I mentor and coach to make the process a lot easier and ultimately to get you to your goals. So let's go ahead and dive right in. The first simple rule that I have about learning to code effectively is that you want to engage in as much direct practice as possible. This concept of direct practice comes from a book, one of my favorite books about self-teaching and self-learning called Ultra Learning by Scott Young. And the concept of directness is what he describes that whatever you want to get good at, you got to practice that a lot. The actual thing that you want to get good at. So if you want to play piano, you got to have your hands on the keys as much as possible trying to play things. If you want to paint pictures like Monet, you got to paint as many pictures as you possibly can. The mistake so many people make is when they want to start painting pictures, when they want to start playing piano, when they want to start learning to code and become a software developer, they get stuck in the theory, they get stuck in the knowledge, they get stuck in the tutorials, and they never actually start practicing the thing that they need to be good at, right? So don't make that mistake. Make sure that you're doing the work as much as possible. And just to give you a sense of what software development's like in a real world setting that you need to be good at, software developers are building applications or they're building different parts of an application. Maybe they're tracking down bugs and fixing bugs, or maybe they're working on some code to make it more optimized, more readable, whatever it may be. So the one thing that you really wanna get good at is being comfortable in working applications and building them up up, starting from scratch, those types of things get you really good as a software developer. And by engaging in this direct practice, not only are you gonna get good at the skill of coding, but you're also going to be able to learn more advanced things on top of that a lot easier. Now I have to stress that this may seem obvious, but many of you guys will get lost in the comfort of tutorials. The tutorials are so comforting because it takes you away from all the hard stuff, right? It takes you away from having a blank code editor where you have to decide what you have to do or being stuck in an application. But ultimately you have to force yourself back as much as you can to building out applications, writing as much code as possible, and learning as much as you can from it. So if you take nothing else from this video, I would say that being direct with your learning will make you get the most out of what you're actually doing. Before we proceed to the next two simple rules, I just wanna stop here and say, if you've enjoyed the video thus far, make sure to go down there, smash the like button. Also, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I would definitely recommend going down there and hitting the subscribe button, hit the bell icon so you get notifications. My channel is all about learning to become a software developer, so make sure to subscribe if you haven't. Now let's go ahead and proceed. The second simple rule for learning to code is that you wanna experiment as often as you possibly can. The big mistake that so many new developers or people who are new to learning to code make is that they are terribly afraid to tinker with, to experiment, to hack into their code. I don't know where this comes from, but if you're watching a tutorial, never be afraid to try something out. Like if you're curious about something or if there's something that you don't know or don't understand, the first thing you should do is stop and go deeper on that subject. I found that there is no way you're going to be good at this unless you understand things on a deep level. And certainly that can take years to really figure out, but as you're learning in the very early stages or in the intermediate stages, you always wanna stop and experiment with ideas. Now, many of you guys may be terribly afraid of this. You think of an application as something that can't be broken. If you break it, you're in trouble, or if you break it, then you have to go through the process of fixing it, and that's a nightmare, and that's a pain, but the only way that I found I've gotten better quickly is by breaking stuff and then learning how to fix it. And the only way I learn how to fix it is to go really deep, to debug, to figure out why the data is flowing through my application the way it is, to make sure that I'm not overlooking any simple thing because that's often what it is. So you have to embrace the mindset of a scientist and just experiment with any ideas that come your way. Don't be afraid of breaking things. Breaking things is a normal part of software development. I break stuff all the time, but I know how to fix it really quickly because I've had to fix things so often. So embrace that mindset. The more you embrace that mindset, the more you'll learn, the deeper that your knowledge and skill will go. The third rule I have about learning to code is that it's all about repetition. If you're going to develop the skills necessary to be a developer, you have to do the same things over and over and over and over again. So that may mean that you're doing the same or similar programming challenges or problems 
over and over and over again. Maybe you're building applications that are very similar over and over and over again. Maybe you're using some framework or tool over and over and over again. That's the only way that you're going to get better. So you may feel like in order to be a better developer, you have to learn more and more and more skills, but actually what it's really about is taking the skills that you already have and getting them stronger and stronger and stronger. So even though it may feel like a waste of time to do a programming challenge that's very similar to the last one or build an application that's very similar to the last one you built in your portfolio, it's actually good to do it over and over again because a lot of those skills need to become second nature. A lot of the knowledge that you have about how things work need to become second nature, something that you don't have to Google to look up. Now, many people resist this because repetition is boring. Like doing the same things over and over again is extremely boring, but it Again, when something becomes second nature, then you don't even think about it. And that's where you have a very unconscious competence where you're very good at something and you don't know why. So make sure to repeat things over and over again. You don't have to literally repeat things, but you can be repeating the same things that are very similar. Like I said before, you may be finding yourself building applications that are very similar one after the other. But the only way I found to get really good at this very quickly is just to repeat a lot of the same stuff over and over and over again until it's drilled into your deep subconscious. So those are my three simple rules to learn to code. I hope that you've gotten a lot out of this and it can help you to simplify a seemingly complex process down into its essentials. If you enjoyed the video, as I've said before, make sure to leave a like. Also make sure to hit the subscribe button. Other than that, guys, I do have a free Facebook group. If you're looking for more content from me, definitely recommend joining it. I will leave a link in the description below so you can join it. But uh, other than that, that's all I've got. So thank you so much for watching. And as always, peace out.